Hey guys, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's a pleasure to join you. Today we're going to do a little bit of a data handling question and this is something straight out of a test. You'll get something like this for sure in your next test or exam. So they've said to us, the mathematics test marks of a group of grade 8 learners are given below. So they've given us this list, this random list of numbers and they first said to us, determine the median. What does median mean? Median means in the middle. Okay, now the only way we can figure out what the median is, is if we reorganize these numbers so that they move from lowest to biggest. So let's do that quickly together. Now the lowest mark here is 36. So I'm going to write 36 out and I'm going to cross 36 out over there. Then the next biggest one is going to be 50. And we're going to cross 50 out over there. Then the next one seems to be 54. So we'll write 54 in and we'll cross 54 out. The next one seems to be 58 and there are two of them. And we'll cross those two out. The next one then seems to be 66. So we'll write 66 in there. The next one seems to be 78. So we'll write 78 over there. The next one... Actually, this happens. We missed one of them. So 17 seems to be the next one. Then 78. So that sometimes happens. And that's okay. Then we've got 81. And we can cross 81 out. Then we've got 84. So we can cross 84 out. And then we've got 92. Now what I typically do is I count the numbers I started with. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then I count the numbers that I've written down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Which means I've obviously copied down all of the numbers. I haven't missed anything. Now when we try and work out the middle number, the rule we follow is going to be n plus 1 over 2. And that gives us the position. So that gives us the position of the middle number. So n is the total number of marks that we've got. So we've already counted that there are 11 of these marks. We add 1 to it, which gives us 12. And then we divide it by 2, which gives us 6. So the sixth number is going to be our middle number. So that's going to be um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 is going to be our middle number. So therefore, we can say that the median is equal to 66. We've calculated that that is our median. Moving on to the next question, they've said to us, write down the range. Now, we know the range to be the biggest number minus the smaller number. So I would write that out just so your teacher knows you know what you are referring to or what she is referring to when she says range. We would say 92 minus 36 is equal to, I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to do that on my calculator. And that gives me 56. So that is the difference between the biggest number, the biggest mark, and the lowest mark. The next one asks us for, what is the modal mark? Okay, another way of saying this is, what is the mode? The mode is the one that happens the most. So remember, mode, most, mode, most. So if we look at our numbers, we can see that the only one that repeats itself is 58. So therefore, 58 is our modal mark. And we can just write 58 in there. And then the final question they've asked us is, calculate the mean of the marks correct to two decimal places. Now, another word for mean is average. Okay, so the average mark. So if there was a typical learner, an average learner in the class, what would that learner get? Now, the way we do that is we add up all of these together and then we divide them by the total number that there are in the class, the total number of marks. So I'm going to do that quickly and you can do it with me. 36 plus 50 plus 54 plus 58 plus 58 plus 66 plus 70 plus 78, plus 81, plus 84, plus 92, gives us 727. So we've got 727 are the sum. So that's the sum of all of these numbers. And we're going to divide it by how many numbers there are. And we've already said that there are 11. 
So now we're going to say 727 divided by 11 gives us an answer of 66,09090909. And that will obviously go on forever. But they've asked us for two decimal places. So we're going to say, and that equals 66, 09. Now, guys, the symbol for the mean is going to be an X with a little bar on top of it. And we can write equals, and that would be the formula that takes us to the final answer. Guys, that is a typical question you will find in most of your tests and exams. Hopefully you understand what all of these words mean. Once you understand what they mean and how to calculate them, you'll never get them wrong. That's all from me. Very special thank you to our sponsor for making this video possible. Read up about them in the description below. If you're keen for more videos like this one, visit our website or send us a question and we'll respond with a personalized video. Until the next time, stay epic.